Is that cute? Is that supposed to be cute? Oh my god, what? Okay, so 12 years a clipper, like 12 years a slave. This guy had 2,000 Facebook friends, but nobody showed up to his funeral. It was a pizza I made. I was pretty pretty proud of myself when I made this pizza. Uh, like, it's, like a dirty cop feeding you false information. That was from uh, West Point Elementary School. Here's my Easter dinner. It was chalking before. 80% um, of youth in juvenile detention are arrested for skipping school. Skipping school. Here's Adolph Rupp. He's like, fine, let the niggers play, just don't pay them, which kind of points out the NBA. Here's the reason why you have fascism, because you have Nazi fucking piece of shits like this. Here's poor Alice in Wonderland, she's a junkie, right, <laughs> in real life. All the Native Americans all throughout the continent, all were wiped out. People get used to anything, the less you think about your oppression, the more tolerance for it, it grows. So, oh! You would be a sexual deviant to be with someone like her. That is nasty. Being an atheist is kind of like being the only sober person in the car and nobody will let you drive. Let's revisit this one here about capitalism. Um, so it says, this is uh, Asada Shakur. After a while, people just think oppression is the normal state of things. Um, I got a Julian Assange quote that actually kind of matches this. Um, this thing up pretty up uh, or pretty pretty close to Julian Assange saying that you you're you can't make a mockery of your conscience and your soul when you see bad things happen you got to speak out and you got to say something against it or you'll train your conscience to um, always accept bad things. Here's um, a, a joke I don't get I do not get it says if you get this joke I automatically have more respect for you I don't get it. Here's a cop checking. A baby's pockets. <laughs> here's Bambi. His head's on the wall. So it's not a very happy story. Um, here's this pretty sad. Ivory Coast. This is America. What America's doing to the Ivory Coast. Here's where the Beaver Wars happen. Right? Indiana, Illinois, Ohio. The Beaver Wars. The Iroquois actually took over part of Kentucky. If you see that, 1672. Um, Bin Laden was a CIA agent. Uh, uh, Ronald Reagan actually funded him. So we need to institute law by officer blacklisting. If a cop is bad, we should make sure he is bad forever. Um, assault can stop you from getting a, a good job anywhere, and they assault people day in and day out. So the um, uh, you commit, if you commit a serious crime as an officer, then you can never be hired again anywhere. Absolutely. Ever, ever again. They're killing kittens in Ohio now. There's more black men that are in prison today than what they were in 1850. Uh, the slave matcher made black preachers, right? And they said, preach about white Jesus and about turning the other cheek and about being uh, your masses, obedient, bitch-ass slave. That's what the slave master taught black preachers, okay? So that way, you always love white Jesus, right? But, um... Uh, turn the other cheek and let masses do whatever he wants to you, but that's, uh... That's just how things go. Overheard in a grocery store by someone one waiting in line behind a woman speaking on her cell phone in another language. Ahead of her was a white man. After the woman hangs up, he speaks up. I don't want to say anything while you are on the phone, but you're in America now and you need to speak English. And the woman's like, excuse me, ma'am, is like very slow. If you want to speak Mexican, go back to Mexico. In America, we speak English. And the woman says, sir, I'll speak in Navajo. You want to speak fucking English? Go back to fucking England, you fucking piece of shit. Right, so the Navajo actually have some say so about what's going on here. Here's an Eric Dieter status about Boone County killing a 19 year old. Um, There's a 19 year old, he just shot at him or shot at the car, and there was the only two people left. Nobody knows what happened. Um, and this is right after a shooting that had happened in Gallatin County. Right, uh, here's just um, an LAPD, LMPD officer, <laughs> Bradley Steller. He seems okay. This guy says, this is your brain, right? This is a, a father <laughs> teaching his son about the uh, war on drugs. And he's saying, this is your brain. And he throws the egg down on the ground. He says, this is your brain on drugs. And then the son's like, that's an egg, Dad. That's not your brain. Are, are you on drugs right now? And then <laughs> the father's just kind of like, 
Yeah, but I don't see how that's relevant. <laughs> so it's actually a great commentator because this is that was a big commercial in the 80s about them frying your brain. But really, it's the people frying the fucking egg is the crazy people. Um, here's what should happen. Revolution. You got bad cops who just fucks with people all the time. Here's actually good advice by Buckminster Fuller. So Buckminster Fuller, he says... Um, that we must do away with the absolutely specious notion that everybody's got to earn a living, like you have to earn a right to exist. And when we need one in 10,000 of us to make a tenth, uh, technological breakthrough capable of supporting the rest, we need to keep inventing jobs because this false idea everybody's got to be employed. Some kind of drudgery, according to the Malthusian Darwinian theory, when we must justify our right to exist. We don't. We need 10,000 scientists just to be able to come up with the next new thing. Here's an animal rights picture, right? Clearly that's wrong, but do it the other way. It's not wrong. Here's somebody complaining about gay marriage, and then somebody says, yeah! Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. Um, <laughs> well, the, 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 the picture before, they have, um, they're talking about gay marriage, and then after the person was like, that's a sin, and it's just wrong, you know? It's just wrong to be a homosexual. And then it's a woman who's kind of a whore, or kind of a promiscuous woman, right? I don't want to say whore, because that's sort of... But uh, Emily, she says, it's uh, so is premarital sex, but I'm pretty sure you fucked half the guys in our school, so practice what you preach. And then it's liked by about 45 people. So that was a pretty good burn, right? Just like you got the Kelso picture there. I mean, you seriously are a sexual deviant. That's nasty. If you have to defend on, you know, other people's pussy just to feel good about yourself and you gotta fuck someone like this, I mean, they're fucking unethical, shitty fucking Nazis. And talk about Nazis, this Nazi here owns Louisville and you don't even know who the fuck he is. You don't even know who the fuck this guy is. I'll tell you who this guy is. This guy is fucking David S. Cordish. He owns 4th Street Live. He supports APAC. So right now you got Rand Paul who's trying to wipe Palestine out. He's saying quit funding Palestine. Pull the funding away. No, pull the funding away from Israel. Pull funding away from both of them. Shit, why are we financing a civil war? Why do we do that? Because we're a fucking empire. This person's a fucking psycho. This is a devil. They should go by angel, but she a devil, man. This is the type of person here, terrifying and shitty and don't mind being shitty to fucking men like they're some badass. But this person here, she is so insecure about it, she has to fucking go out of her way to show that she's a fucking psycho piece of shit, right? And it's incredible. Why, why do you have to prove that you're a psycho piece of shit? She is naturally fucking shitty. All the time. Never fucking seen, like, maybe a, a fucking tiny ounce of fucking sunlight. Tiny ounce of decency. But she's a liar, she's manipulative, and she has to go out of her way to be fucking shitty because she wants to make sure everybody in the fucking world knows that she's a piece of shit. Land of the fees, home of the caged, right? We're supposed to be free, but we ain't. He says, there may or may not be atheists in the foxholes, but I'm um, certainly there are none in the Ku Klux Klan, right? So that means the you, you can make fun of atheists if you want to, but everybody in the Ku Klux Klan are Christian Baptists. They're Christian Baptists. They don't give a shit. You know, they're fucking, they're doing Jesus' work. This is how they've uh, perverted Christianity to mean lynch black men when they're actually lynching future Jesus Christ. Here's a Carl Sagan quote. Anybody who loves science uh, would love, so a little bit of Carl Sagan. And he's got a quote here. It says, one of the saddest lessons of history is this. If we've been bamboozled long enough, we tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozle. We're no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozle had captured us. It's too, simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. Once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. So once you let a mass of fucking control you and fucking manipulate you, you know, it's incredible how Teach Like a Champion says they need 100% compliance. And that's the tactic that supposedly effective teachers are using. But if they're getting 100% compliance, in order to get somebody's submission, you're wiping out their spirituality, their ethics, their morality, their sense of self, their autonomy, their sovereignty, who they actually are as a human being, who they are as an individual. You're ripping out their soul. But if you allow a motherfucker to just do that to you, then you're actually going to be controlled, manipulated for the rest of your life. Uh, here's a, what kind of man are you? It's kind of making fun of all the cartoon 
uh, uh, females and fathers. Um, I guess they're saying that the um, men beat their wives. Uh, equality says both of them should be treating each other nicely, okay? So, um, clearly a man is physically stronger than a woman, so he should never just haul back and just knock her out. Um, he also shouldn't allow himself to get beat up either, so he should do what he needs to do uh, proportionally in order to protect himself. I mean, a female can just... Uh, pick up a gun as easily as a man can pick up a gun. So I'm not. There's no way I would just pick one gender, or one sex over the other blindly. That's just. I mean, God, you can't get no. That's sexist. That's as sexist as you can get, and it's um, it's discrimination. It's discriminatory. So. Uh, I don't know, I guess, you got Fred, who's like fucking beating the shit out, you got fucking Belle, you got Popeye, Homer, everybody's got black eyes, so, you know, let's stop beating our fucking women up, uh, the domestic violence is clearly wrong, rape is clearly wrong, so, quit being mean to anybody, let's not be hitting, uh, women, let's not be hitting children, let's not be hitting men, let's just not, let's stop fighting, let's stop violence, we don't need violence anymore. Um, all these groups that accept donations are uh, being run by CEOs that are multi-million, you know, multi-millionaires, and that's um, wow, just you know, wow. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, oh, that was nasty. That was. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's. You're a sexual deviant if you need to be with someone like her. Oh! Oh my god! What is wrong with you? Okay? <laughs> um. There's um, Native Americans that was all over uh, Kentucky. Uh, they based, they had like establishments all over, right? Um, here's uh, some people saying, let's stop the chemtrails. You know, why are they. Spraying chemtrails everywhere. It's an incredible protest, actually. Naked woman body. You got Femin. You got Pussy Riot. Um, uh, women are extraordinarily powerful political people. The Clive and Bundy ranch story. They was going to basically throw the women and children in front of them. Like, you know, true men. You know, putting the kids and the women on the front lines. But they got a point in the sense that the world, the international community, would give a shit if you killed women and children. But if you killed a bunch of men, nobody would give a shit. Politics, Machiavelli. The thing of conquest, nation state has all the rights or Leviathan, so they can crush anything. But another next to Fort Knox, we got chemtrails being sprayed over us on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, on a daily basis, hourly basis, probably. Here's Chicken Little, like, oh my God, KFC, what's going on in China? A police officer murdered a an innocent person for no apparent reason, and so they the uh, Chinese people killed the cops. And this is the aftermath of them murdering the, the police officers that had murdered an innocent man. This piece of shit, it just sucks that you have to fucking... She's a kiss-ass in class. She's, you know, unhealthy, man. She's just, uh... She's a seedy... Seedy... Seedy <laughs> She's just cash potato. She's going to waste... But it sucks. I have to fucking take shitty fucking bullshit from a person like her. Right? She borrowed my fucking textbook. Forgot about it. Took it. And I mentioned to it. Not to call her out. I didn't say it in front of people or anything. I was talking to her privately. But she just took it like a fucking asshole. Oh, my God. As if like, I was accusing her of shit she didn't do. No, you borrowed my textbook. You fucking forgot it. I it took the teacher's home. And I wanted to, you know, get mine back so I could give the teacher's back her fucking copy. But everybody... Just kind of, I don't know if maybe the teacher grabbed it or if she left it on the desk or what happened to it, but she was just kind of like, oh, 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 and didn't even want to really, you know, just was shit. Oh, 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 sexual deviant. Oh, who would want to touch someone like that? Anybody who would fuck touch her would fuck him, okay? That's anybody who would touch that first one would fuck uh, Chris Christie, and that's actually a pretty powerful picture of uh, him on the bridge there. Um, the whole bridge scandal. So Chris Hedges, you know, he's always got some thoughtful quotes and things that he's thinking about and he's going through his mind. He goes, what kind of nation is it that spends far more to kill enemy combatants and Afghan Iraqi civilians than to help its own citizens who live below the poverty line? This permits corporations to hold sick children hostage while parents frantically bankrupt themselves to save their sons and daughters. That abandons its unemployed while loose to treasury on behalf of speculators. That refuses to halt the destruction of the ecosystem by the fossil fuel industry, dooming our children and our children's children. That ignores due process to torture and assassinate its own prison. That tosses its mentally ill into urban Heat and great. What kind of nation does this? What kind of nation will treat their own people like this? Ignores due process, assassinates its own citizen, tosses mentally ill to the 
urban heating grates. We're going to destroy the entire world because we don't want to acknowledge that global warming is happening. Let's just keep our coal, you know, industry here. Now we should nationalize coal. This is Kentucky's coal. Let's everybody collectively say this is our coal. Nationalize it just like the parks and get some free electricity. Christian evidence, yeah, you have none, okay, but they'll tell you that you're blind to see what's going on. Oh, psycho! She is so shitty! She's at West Point Elementary. Chris Payne, he's always talking about... And Chris Payne, even though I, I think he's like Hispanic, I don't know where he... Um, I think, yeah, he's Colombian, so... Uh, but he says anti-white stuff, anti-black stuff, like pretty much all the time. But the... Um, LNPD robbery suspects held woman at gunpoint at Shawnee bus stop.